What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to TTB Ravens Media, bringing you Ravens content every single day. If you want to see it today, the Ravens content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and turn the notification bell on if you want to get notified every single time I upload a brand new video. Before I get into this video, I just want to give out a reminder to anybody that is watching this that is relatively new to the channel or you weren't there last week. Before this week's preseason game, you know, which is at 7 p.m. Eastern time, Joshua and I will start streaming at 6 p.m. Eastern time. I'm pretty sure the game's at 7. But we stream one hour before the game, and we answer any questions you guys have. It's kind of our pregame show. Rather than us recording in advance and posting it, not really being able to answer the questions that you guys have. So instead, we just do a live show. Make sure to come ask any questions you have. It's going to be right here on this channel. It's going to be a lot of fun. Last week, we had a ton of fun doing the pregame show. Then the postgame show, we will be also going live right after the game ends and we will answer any questions analyze any part and hopefully hopefully be celebrating an nfl record 19 consecutive preseason wins which would tie the lombardi packers reportedly nobody really knows if the lombardi packers really won 19 consecutive games it is complete lore but if you didn't watch good morning football heck of a heck of a um, segment that they did today on the Ravens in their preseason streak. So I strongly urge all of you to go check it out. I saw it on Twitter, um, but it's amazing. And if you're on Twitter, follow me on Twitter or follow the show on Twitter. So uh, that's it for the intro. Make sure to come to the live stream before and after the game. It's a ton of fun. Ask any questions you have, but let's get into today's video because I think Pretty much every Ravens YouTuber is probably going to be talking about this. And what it is, is they decided to they decided to come after Lamar Jackson again. And an ESPN reporter has said that he thinks this is the year that the Ravens are just they're gonna figure out Lamar. It's over. That's one of the stupidest things. I think I've ever heard from an ESPN reporter. It, I don't understand why everybody is so negative about Lamar. Like every single time. And it seems like I always say like, oh, we just can't buy into it. It always gets worse. We're like, you know, they start off and they're just like, oh, Lamar. And it like, maybe they'll make a take, you know in june that doesn't make very much sense but maybe you can see an argument and it just gets worse and worse i don't understand the logic behind the oh this is the year they figure out lamar i don't i don't understand the logic whatsoever because oh yeah you've seen him now for you know three years yes there's only been one team in three years that's ever been able to figure out Lamar only been one team it's the Pittsburgh Steelers and why is it the Pittsburgh Steelers because they figured out every quarterback in the NFL they've had a phenomenal defense they have a great pass rush and things like that I don't want to praise Pittsburgh on this but they have a great defense and when Lamar's played against them he's struggled but that's not an exclusive Lamar thing it's not like Patrick Mahomes goes into Pittsburgh and he's like this is the easiest I've ever played in my entire life no he struggles Everybody struggles against the Pittsburgh defense. It's a very difficult defense to get by, especially when they're healthy. And then you add in the fact that it's a rival, it makes it even more difficult. So that's the only defense that's figured out Lamar. You can you, you, People may say, oh, but the Chiefs. No, they didn't figure out Lamar. They didn't figure out Lamar. The Ravens have some poor play calling against the Chiefs sometimes, but they still put up points. It's the Ravens' defense that hasn't figured out the Chiefs. That's been the issue. You know, you look at it, you may say, oh, but you look at Lamar against the, the Chargers that first time they played. Oh, wow. Rookie Lamar Jackson, they figured him out. That's what they said after that year. Right after that year, what did they say? Lamar Jackson's figured out. They came out and died. They had a ton of defensive backs all over the field. He couldn't do anything. Look at that. It's over. What do you do the very next year after everybody thought, oh, the Chargers figured out Lamar? Oh, he won a unanimous MVP? He won a unanimous MVP after he was... Figured out because you can put more DBs on the field. So what did the Ravens start doing when people are like, let's put more DBs? We got the Gus bus. We got J.K. Dobbins, who are just going to run right through those defensive backs, right through them. So that strategy didn't really work. The only way to really beat Lamar is if you have a, an incredible front seven and you have players that are very, very diligent and are able to not overcommit. And the only player that I've ever seen do that, ever seen, 
is TJ Watt. He's the only guy. And like I said, Pittsburgh defense. He's the only guy that I've seen him and Bud Dupree were able to contain Lamar in his read options. And they still didn't even like full. It's not like Lamar went out there and had like a terrible game. He threw a, he, he's thrown a couple of picks on a couple of bad reads. That's it. But he's been able to move the ball. He's been able to have success. It's not like he's just been like everybody points to that Chargers game. Like it's something that can happen consistently. That is something that is so incredibly rare to happen. I don't understand it. Um, the Buffalo game, you you can look at that and say like, oh look, the Ravens' offense struggled. So did the Bills. Josh Allen couldn't throw in that game. The wind was ridiculous. If Justin Tucker can't kick field goals in a game, you can't blame the quarterbacks because nobody could throw the ball deep. We saw Josh Allen try and launch it deep, and it would always be either ten yards past, ten yards to the side, out of bounds, like because the wind was crazy. So it was a very difficult game. So that. I don't understand this. Like, oh, this is the year they figure it out. Okay, they've known. Last year, they knew what plays the Ravens were calling. It was said. Lamar Jackson came out in an interview. I believe it was with Rich Eisen when he came out in the interview. I'm not 100% sure on that. But he talked about how yeah, defenses are calling out our plays. The Ravens were still winning. They were still winning. Like, you know, it's the old mantra. They know it's coming, and they still can't stop it. That's difficulty. Why does nobody come out with things saying, this is the year we figure out Patrick Mahomes? Because it's not about figuring it. You know what you have to do against Patrick Mahomes. You know what you have to do. You have to just play really good football. It's not like there's some secret strategy. Oh, if we come out, we come out in like nickel, two, four, five, double A gap, and we send, you know, Six guys of pressure. We press on one guy, press, you know, don't press the other. We maybe watch the inside slants and it'll work every time. That doesn't work. It's not like there's just some defense. This isn't Madden. Okay. This isn't Madden where you can say, oh, there's just a direct counter to this player. That doesn't work. That's not something that happens in the NFL. Like that, it just really isn't, you know, especially at the quarterback position. You can't, most quarterbacks, you really can't figure out. There isn't just something where like, oh, they just can't do this. Lamar can do anything you ask him to. It's you just have to put them in. If you just play really good defense, yeah, play really good defense. You may be able to stop Lamar. That's not figuring him out. That just that just means you have to play really good defense. It's not like every team is going to be able to play like, like I said, like the Pittsburgh Steelers have been the only team that have been able to stop Lamar Jackson, which they haven't stopped him. They've just made it more difficult for him. Only defense. The only defense. And that's because they're a great defense. So I don't understand this whole figure it out. This isn't Madden. This isn't, you know, you can't just, in Madden, you can, you know, pass, commit, and then shade and do all this stuff. And it'll work against certain, you know, Madden offenses. And it'll be like, oh, yeah, you just come out in this play every time. It'll work. That's not NFL football. You can just come out of the same play and have it stop. I don't understand what this whole mentality is. They've said it before. They said it after the Chargers game when they put out, I believe they were putting out six defensive backs. It may have been seven defensive backs consistently, and it was able to work on rookie Lamar Jackson with poor offensive play calling, and it was just really bad, and they still almost came back and won the game, um, which people also forget, if not for the Joey Bosa strip sack. Um like and and the wide receiver weapons were you know Michael Crabtree and, and John Smokey Brown. So overall, I d- I don't understand it. I, it doesn't make any sense. It's it's probably one of the stupidest takes you can hear. It's just they figured you out. This isn't like there isn't something to figure out now. The Ravens' offense can be can be hindered by play calling. You know, lack of weapons. You know, last year the the whole COVID situation Lamar Jackson was missing time he got really sick from COVID uh it took him a little bit to come back 100 percent and then and then he was fine Ravens finished the year very strong like nobody's figuring out Lamar Jackson you know Peyton Manning really struggled early in his career it wasn't until his sixth year when he figured it out Lamar Jackson isn't even a quarterback that's making audibles and things like that yet which will come which will come And then that's when I think that's when Lamar Jackson takes that next step is when he starts fully taking over the game and starts making his own, you know, oh, I'm changing Greg Roman's play call. I'm doing all that stuff. That's what going to be that moment where he clicks. You know, Patrick Mahomes said in an interview, you know, I didn't really understand, you know, defenses and coverage concepts um, until that that second year, the year after he won MVP was like, I'm really starting to get this. 
it takes some time. You can be very good and still not have it 100% down. Lamar Jackson is not the perfect NFL quarterback. He still has room to grow. And when he starts getting those, those extra tools, the, the audibles, the you know recognizing all of that type of stuff, that mental part of the game, which I think he has. I'm not saying Lamar Jackson can't do it or he's stupid or anything like that. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that when he starts adding in more traits, it's going to become more and more difficult to stop. He's not, the, he's not going to be the same player in five years that he is right now. He's going to be better. He's going to be improved. He's going to shift his game. He doesn't run the same play over and over. This isn't mad, and you can't just call counters and just have it work every single time. That's not how football works. I think it's a lazy take. I think it's a take to just rile us Ravens fans up, but I had to speak on it because it's just so ridiculous. But that's going to do it for this content of the video. If it's the, I started it yesterday. If you get to the end of the video, what I do is some Ravens trivia. So here's today's Ravens trivia question. Who is the Ravens single game rushing leader for a single game not number one. I need number two because number one, I think, is too obvious. Number two, second most rushing yards in a game by a Raven. Bonus points if you get the you know the year or who they were playing or anything like that or the yardage. Uh, but makes it more fun if you don't look it up. But that's going to do it for this video. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Subscribe for any of the Ravens content. Comment your thoughts and opinions on this take. I think it's absolutely ridiculous. But I will see all of you again tomorrow in the live stream before and after the game against the Carolina Panthers. Should be a lot of fun. Make sure to come through. And I will see all of you again then.